It's time for to be today. Whoa! <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Scotty. No, or not. Welcome to To Be Tuesday, and today we're looking at Brain Scan from 1994, starring Edward Furlong. And Frank Langella is about a teenager who gets this video game called Brain Scan, and in the in the video game you kill people, but then it turns out that. People are dying in the real world. Oh, and there's this weird mascot named Trickster. That's the best thing in this film. And uh, yeah, so this movie I've heard about it. I noticed it was on Tubi, so I said I'm gonna check it out. It's gonna be Tuesday. This is what I'm doing for Tubi Tuesday. Um, but honestly, this movie was a little underwhelming for me. Despite having Edward Furlong in it, he seems to kind of walk through scenes. It's like, hey, man. You know, and Edward Furlong, he was over great acting. But and this was in his heyday, you know, with this T2, eventually American History X. You know? But, uh, but yeah, so Edward Furlong plays this kid whose name I forget. Michael, that's right. He plays Michael. And he hears about this new video game called Brain Scan, so he orders it, puts it in this computer thing in this futuristic type 90s world where you can call someone, if they're saying Igor, call this person. Yes, so it's very weird. But yeah, he. Oh, oh. He gets this game, and he starts playing, and he's sent to kill someone. But, you know, he's like, oh, it's very real, you know. And the next day, he, goes, he you know, he, we established that he, there's this girl that's next door, and it's one of those situations where. Their windows are right across from each other so we can see everything that she does, including undressing, which he gets his little telescope thing out to look at her. And, like, we do find out later, and it was confirmed by the end of this that it was real, but we'll get to that. Twist. Not only... Not only does he look at her, she looks at him too. We get the scene where she's undressing. And I will put this out. Even though Edward Furlong is 15 in this, the actress who played the love interest here was 24. So, it's fine. Except for a scene later where he has a dream. Or goes into brain scan or whatever, and she's on top of him, and it's like, there's no nudity, but still, you think he was 15 at the time, she's 24, it's kind of weird. There was no nudity. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, but finally, this is the first instance he sort of gets the courage up to talk to her, and he goes over to the house, and they're like, he says, hey, uh, can I talk to Lisa or whatever? And they call her down. She doesn't come down right away, and it's like, you know, like, hey, can you come down? Those kind of scenes where it's like, hey, uh, someone is here to see you. Can you come down? And it takes forever, and you know, oh, this is this, we're not gonna have them talk. This is for something else. And then you know, you know, they're watching the news, and you get the story about the murder. And she realizes it's not real. And I feel like this is one of the flaws. I feel like he should have killed a couple more people before rea before realizing that everything was real. Like, it's only one murder in this. And then he's like, oh, it's real. And he doesn't want to do it anymore. But then still does it. Like, he's forced. 
This is when Trickster shows up. He's like, you, you have to keep playing. He's like, no, I destroy the other disc. And he's like, oh, I pulled this out of my ass or whatever. And he's like, he didn't say that, but you know, basically. And then he plays it. And then his best friend ends up dead. His only friend, apparently. <clears throat> Hold on. I don't know. Sorry about that. That blew my nose. But, uh, anyway. So, yeah. I think it was a little too soon, and I think. Like, and then he, best friend dies. Because they had an argument. And they, they keep saying, oh, you gotta cover your tracks, but. I don't understand why he had to kill his friend. And then, like. Before he starts playing, there's a murder. Which is connected? Not connected? I don't know. He shows up, and the other murder happens, and he shows up there, too, catching the eye of Detective Frank Langella, who's on to him. But ultimately, the subplot goes nowhere. Like, honestly, like, this entire film, kind of useless, because once we get to the twist, you're just like, okay, what? So yeah, best friend dies, and then... Trickster says, oh, you have to kill the girlfriend. You have to kill her because she saw you. Well, thing is, he goes back out and they promise there's no killing, but there's an accident where someone else dies. And then uh, one, another detective or something gets shot and killed. And they're like, oh, we got to kill her. And then he's goes back home, but he's seen by the girlfriend. He's like, oh, you have to tie up all loose ends, remember? And like I said, uh, Trickster is the best part of this movie. He's entertaining. When he was on screen, I was in it, and then when he wasn't, it was just like, okay, can we get next scene? But Trickster, please. But, uh, yeah, then it gets really weird. So, he goes in to the... in the brain scan. Ends up in her room. And... He's supposed to kill her, but he refuses to do it. So, twist number one, Trickster reveals that he is actually a evil version of Michael. I don't know. Why does that keep getting moved over there? <clears throat> I don't know. It's very weird. And he tries to punch him, but then he like sucks him up and combines with him to form this weird looking Michael Trickster. And he's going to kill her. But she's like, Michael, I love you. I know you watch me. I watch you too. And then he's able to break free. Right? And maybe you could catch on here. You know, so I'm sitting there going, really? Like, I love you. I know that they have feelings for each other, but I love you. But, uh, yeah, he breaks free from Trickster. Trickster then says, oh, we're not done, and opens the door, and Detective Frank Langella is just there, and then he shoots Michael, and Michael wakes up back in his room, and everything was, was all a dream because it was all in the brain scan game, and nothing happened at all. It was all in his head. And I was, uh, yeah, that happened. I'm like, wait, what, what? Huh, wait, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Nothing happened in this movie. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, but nothing really happened. And it's back to that same night. So he goes out there, his best friend's still alive. They decide to go over to the girl's party where he can, you know, he asks her out. And she's like, uh, I don't know. Like, not really, you know. She's just like, maybe. He's like, maybe. So they're considering it. And well, she kisses him, so something can come of that. But then the next day, we got a, sub a subplot. We go back to the subplot that I didn't mention about the principal not liking horror video games. Because this was very much of the time where horror video games. Video games uh, 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 uh. But, I don't know. So, he he's like... They had a, like a horror club where they're watching a horror movie. And he's like, you need to run things by me. 
Like the horror club is banned, but you have to run things by me. So he's like, he gives him the copy of Brain Scan. And he's like, here, I think you'll like it. And then you see Trickster in the chair, and it's like, so he's gonna torture this guy or what? Because even he knows that after this guy plays it, he's not gonna want to green light it, but I don't know. This movie was fine. Uh, I'll give it a middle of the road. Um, I thought some of the actors were good. The actors, you know, the lead actress and Edward Furlong, they were okay. But the best part is the actor who plays Trickster. He's the best in this movie. And probably why his face is all over the posters and everything. That it was, that he was good, but. Everything else was just meh. So it's the middle of the road. So, what are your thoughts on Brain Scan? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.